Right now, there is a search going on for a man who's been missing uh, after a car crash Tuesday night in Kaufman County this week. So it's three days almost. Search is happening just southeast of Kaufman. We've got Olivia Leach there today where she has been talking to family members of the missing man who believe that he is still alive. And we've just been out there nonstop, rain, cold, night, dark, it doesn't matter. We're out there searching for him. Logan Chance Jacinto was traveling home on Highway 175 Tuesday night when his wife got a text from him saying it was raining, that he would make it home. But his family says witnesses told police he lost control of his car and slammed into this guardrail. It's very emotional. It's, our hearts are heavy. It's like we're scared and that he's just out there hurting. He's in pain. He's cold. And we just felt like he doesn't know that we're left there looking for him. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but we are, we are looking for you, bro. We ain't gave it up. The Kaufman County Sheriff's Office tells us that witnesses told them Jacinto ran from the scene of the crash, but they don't know why. Jacinto's wife reported him missing Wednesday night. Kaufman County Sheriff's deputies and a Texas Department of Public Safety helicopter searched the area but couldn't find him. Yesterday morning, a dive team, sheriff's office deputies, and local law enforcement searched the crash site and surrounding woods and creek again but couldn't locate him. So he's probably badly hurt. It's cold. And if he's in the creek somewhere and we can't get to him, so I mean, we have hope that he's still hanging on, you know, waiting for us to come find him. Since the crash, Jacinto's family has organized their own volunteer search parties. We're starting here because this is where the accident happened. This afternoon, Alfonso Solis is helping to lead the search. We need as many boots on the ground to line up, and we're going to go into the fields, go into the woods, and just look for anything and everything that's not supposed to be there. The volunteer effort is giving Jacinto's family hope that he's still alive. He's strong. He's a survivor. The Kaufman County Sheriff's Office says they'll continue to search for him. We're told another team of Texas Parks and Wildlife officers and their canines will do another search of the area tomorrow morning. In Kaufman County, Olivia Leach, CBS News, Texas.